it's time to see how we stack up against last year's champions. Bring on Gremio. Welcome back, everyone. This is the Hexagonal. I'm Andrew, and you join us in May. We are five games into the league season. We're 11 games into the state championship. Reached the knockout stages of the Copa Libertadores. We'll come back to that. And we uh, face a second leg against Sao Paulo in the, the Cup, but we don't care. It's all about the league. And today, we're going to take on Gremio, who are last year's champions. They're kind of letting the side down because they're eighth. Uh, it doesn't give us that kind of like top of the table clash, but it's going to be a really good indicator to see where we are. There's the form you were last here against SPT, the 5 0 win in the league, 4 0 win, 1 0 win against Palmares. We kind of hung on after getting a really early goal from Matthias, then a 5 0 win, then the last time we beat Vasco da Gama 6 0. Matthias Orlando, who is on fire right now, getting the goals. San Severino popping up with his second and third goals of the season too. Let's look at Orlando. Uh, even though the five, really five games in, he has 35 goals in 22 games. I mean, 23 of them have come in the Rio State Championship, which doesn't really count. But he's finding the back of the net. That's all we can ask of him. Form-wise, uh, Montoya, the left-back's got 10 assists. He's playing well. Uh, Arcelino's been covering. So played a couple of games where we've had to like, rotate and bring players in and out and rest players, and it, it's going well. People are stepping in, doing the job. Defence is holding out. This team is looking really good. In terms of the Libertadores, we've been drawn against our old team, Deportivo, Cali. I was quite glad to get drawn. The narrative is brilliant. But let's get to the Gremio game. So this is what we are going with. The only real decision to make is between San Severino, Salazar, and our man Jose Ludo in midfield. Now, San Severino scored twice as a Mazala his last game. Salazar got two assists as Mazala in his last game. So I'm going to go with both of them. We've got Jose Ludo on the bench. Uh, we should have in case anything goes wrong. No, he's suspended anyway, so that makes that decision easier. Kleber has got a knock, so Albilo comes in for him, and Jean Victor needs a rest, so Perotti comes in. He'd been complaining about not playing much anyway, so it's a no-brainer. The system is working. It's working really well. I'm positive. No complaints. Let's get to it. I mean, if we can go and beat the champions, even though we're, like, we've got the home advantage... It'd be a fantastic indicator of where we are. Now it's Gremio starting off well, eight minutes in. Salazar wins it back. Isaac, Salazar, finds Orlando. Looks for Arizabo. Oh. Probably expect more from Oscar there. I love that he's got both feet, even though he's a diverted winger, because he can just do so much more with it. Ball comes in, Salazar picks it up. He's played well as the Mayors. There's Perotti to Montoya, the left back. Arazabo, Abilo. Knocking it around well. Abilo's huge. Look, I think he's six foot six. Monster back. Back all the way to Danelli. Playing it cautious. I like having someone as good as a passer as San Severino. Back there, this is lovely football. Q has given it away, Joe Ricardo. He came on and got a hat trick recently. Plays it to Orlando. He's in, oh, 32 goals. Expecting better there. Rafael, challenged. Uh, oh, not again. This happened before with San Severino. He got two quick yellow cards and now he's got a red. We need to drop Isaac back there. Orlando can stay as the AF. Uh, what have we got on the bench here? It's going to be Clinton, isn't it? Joe Victor, I think it's got better. Let's go Joe Victor. He's got better positioning. Or what about Perotti move Joe Victor? No, Joe Victor's going to play there. Oh, fuck's sake. 13 minutes is a long time with 10 men. 
far from ideal. Castro. Manuel Diego Rosa. We've still got the players up front that can make a difference. Orlando, Aratzabo. We need him and Joe Ricardo to step up now. Aratzabo! Come on! Big goal from the Colombian winger. Ah. I think he might be the legend of this save. Oscar Aratzabo. Orlando really did well with the pass. Aratzabo taking on his man with his pace. Gets by him. Looks up. Finds the bottom corner. That's what we're talking about. Come on, Aratzabo. Come on, boys. Give them a praise. We're down to 10 men. Playing the champions. 1-0 up. It's going to be a long 70 minutes. But we can do this. They're putting it down the right. Rafael Emmanuel plays it in. Oh, for the bar. See, we're in the new lost strip my dad got me for my birthday. Or definitely, it wasn't an Eden Hazard picture behind there. That's fallen off again. Got like four of those like tape things sticking it down. And it just keeps falling. I think the frame's fucked. Need to get a new frame. Body Asda. Five minutes to half time. It's going okay. It's first half goal. We need to be happy with that. 1 0 up, down to 10 men. We've created some chances. Like. We'll take more of that in the second half. I just praise the defence for the excellent defensive work. And Montoya got pissed off. What the fucking game's stupid sometimes. Montoya down the left. Aritz Abel picks up the, the throw in. Crosses it. Bad post. Jerry Ricardo. Bad to Orlando. Oh, it's blocked. That would have been fantastic. Oh, it's Christian on the break. I don't know why. Abel was the one that comes over. Oh. He's got a book in. Okay, if we can get to 65, if I'm getting sent off, that'd be great. There's Orlando running the channels well. There's no one in the box. We're... Oh, we've got a pen. We've missed a lot of pens lately. Wait a second, just in case. Pens, 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 pens. Who's taking it? Who's on the pitch? Oh, Orlando's our best with nine. Uh, this is not going to go well, is it? He's given it. He's given it. It's going to be a Wando to take. The striker. Steps up. And he buries it. 2-0. Huge. Absolutely huge. Nine penalties. Matthias Orlando, the former river man, gets the goal. Ooh. That is what we're talking about. Half an hour to go. A bio. Let's get him off. For a start. Douglas Enrique, you can go in there. Orlando's through. Orlando's through. Matthias Orlando. It's there. This team. Down to 10 men. 3-0 up on the champions. What a simple goal. Montoya to Aratzabo. Right foot pass. Oh, that's fucking glorious. And Orlando with his 34th goal of the season. Yes, we will take those changes. Yes, we will take Salazar off. No, Aratzabo's injured. Fuck. Gustavo, 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 there he is. 25 minutes to go, might have to go, might have to go on balance and time wasting already. We're 3-0 up. Marcos Aurelio, Christian, it's in the box. Carbeck should be offside. He is. Let's, uh, let's make those changes. We'll go on balanced. We will go time wasting. And I think we're going to regroup as well. Yep. I know there's still 25 minutes to go, but three points is all we need here. We don't need any more goals. Long ball up. Won by the defence. Orlando, he's done really well on his own. Can the back four hold up again? Manuel. Dewey. Some weird names in Brazil at this point. Alfonso out wide left. Gets it back. 
Got men in front of him. This is what I like to see. Defending well in numbers. Pushing, pressing. This has got a goal written over. All this passing through the middle. Here we go. Goal. <gasps> Save the Nelly. Come on. What a team performance. Montoya, Douglas Enrique clears it to Joe Ricardo. Doesn't get the head. You know he's six foot five. Emmanuel, I mean they can score now if they want. They're not going to get three. Christian blocked. Orlando. He's got the pace. He's got Gustavo at wide right. We can see him. Joe Ricardo down the right. He looks inside to Orlando. Down the channel. Where's the keeper going? Oh! A split second earlier. And that could have been four. Another throw in down the left. Montoya taking his time. Gives it away straight away. Of course he does. Because that's what throw ins do. Please fix that for FM22. Ball in, Christian. And he skews it wide. Go corner. Fair enough. Perotti clears it. It's back to the wall. Last minute of the game. Back to the keeper. Hugo Souza. Playing out time. Show Victor. Big tackle. There's Orlando. Down the left. Just hold on to it. Don't need anything fancy. It's fine. Montoya. Salazar. He's done well. The score doesn't. The rain doesn't show it, but also he's played well. There it is. Played with 10 men for 75 minutes. Quick maths. Goal from Arizabo. Two goals from Orlando. Three massive points against the champions. Quick look at the table. There we are. 18 points. Three ahead of Santos. Uh, four ahead of Palmeiras. And they've got a game ahead of us as well. That's a good sign. 10 players going to the 2030 World Cup. Joe Ricardo, Deserve, Jose Ludo, Kleber, Aaron Zavo. <sighs> Popped them from Deportivo Cali as a teenager. Really good. San San Marino too. Diaz, Orlando, Perotti, Montoya. Proud. There's a proper look at the table. We are top on 18. Six played, six wins, 24 scored. Still not conceded a goal. Yeah. Really good goal difference. If you look at the performers in the league, Orlando top with nine, Jerry Ricardo, the winger with four, Orlando average rating 8.18. Oh, Montoya really well. Isaac, who we didn't get to see much because of the red card, five assists, Orlando with four. Those two really good duo. Uh, Donnelly with six clean sheets, obviously. We're going to come back for the second leg of the Deportivo Cali game and the game against Botafogo in the league. Thank you so much for watching. This is the Hexagonal. We push on with Flamengo. Really, this team looks good. 10 men against Gremio. You can't beat a 3 0 win. Superb. Please drop a like on the video. Really appreciate that. Please let us know what you think. Again, as I said, do you want to see these kind of quicker one game episodes? Do you want the two game episodes? Let me know in the comments. So until next time, from me, Andrew and Escobar Valdez, cheers.